Assalamu alaikum. Hey, and welcome back, folk. This is, ooh, we're, we're, we're about to close. But here's the thing. This is all about influence and change. Influence and change. We want to create in the world. We want to, like, you know, if you're like me, if you're anything like me, you want to create in the world. You want to have an impact in the world. You want to have success in your business, in your professional life. And you certainly want to have success in your personal life. You don't want to have this imbalance where you're constantly having to be all in on your work and your family life falls apart or you're all in your family life and you have no work life. You don't want to be in either of those. You want to succeed by creating a balance. How do we do that? We leverage influence and power. The influence and power that we have is a, it's a God-given thing that you have. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave you the power to change things in the world, the power to influence in the world. And one of the things that we do, many of us, in order to get the results that we want, we try and micromanage, we try and control. We, and you know, people will start to think you're a control freak. You start to think you're a control freak. You start to get intense, like why aren't the results happening? And then what happens is that relationships fall out. Your personal life falls out. Like your financial life is impacted by it. And really what's required is influence. Now, the power to influence is really about the power of change. Now, when you want to create change, it has to be sustainable change. One of the problems that many of us have is that we try and make, create change by way of force, control, micromanaging, that sort of stuff. And you know that just impacts your relationships. You know that just has you on edge and then has you behaving in your life like how you don't even like behaving. And then you have this guilt, you have this anxiety about how everything's gonna fall apart, and then you're forever overworking. You're overworking, you're overcompensating because you're trying to compensate for what you feel you've done wrong. And that doesn't work. So if you wanna be in control, if you want to be able to create changes in the world that are sustainable, then what you need to do is you need to be able to control behavior. Now, the first behavior that you need to be able to control is your behavior. And the only way to do that is to focus on the levers of control. Now, we know already, like relationships, mind, emotion, these three things play an integral part in controlling life itself, right? Your life, that's, that's a part of your steering wheel. Now, if you want to take control of other people you can't now even if you try and force them you can get away with only for so long after which your relationships uh, fall apart you start having problems you start having conflict and then no one likes you or you don't like no one and then it turns awful and no one likes that you don't like that we want to be social we are social beings Allah created us that way so there's a way of doing leadership there is a real clear way of leadership the clearest and the most powerful way to lead in the world is lead yourself first. When you lead yourself, then what will happen is you will create this mirror effect in the environment around you. What you'll find is that all of a sudden you have credibility, you have influence, you're able to create change in other people without the need to try and impose on them. You're able to create change in your life, in your relationships, without trying to force change upon those people. And the best thing about this is that they change of their own accord and they think they're doing it for themselves. They don't, they're not doing it for you, but that's the very change that you want. And this is what I train you on in this school. In the Nafs Coaching School, one of the most fundamental things about leadership, about leading yourself, leading your life, leading your family, leading your business is that you need to have the power of influence. The power of influence is, it, it's all based on the science of the enough psychology. When you understand the framework of the psychology model, you understand the divine design of a human being. When you understand that, you will know how to make people tick. You, like, look, let me be quite frank with you. Now, of course you can use these tools to manipulate people, but you're my sort of people. That means you are interested in the health and the well-being of people, not just yourself. So we are interested in being an ummah, being a part of a wider community. So we're not into using these skills to manipulate people. So when I teach you this, I know that you're going to use it for yourself to succeed in your own life, in your business, and in your community, in your family life. And what that's going to do 
is that, and, and that's really my disclaimer, I'm going to teach you this stuff and I know that you're going to be the kind of person, because you're my sort of person, that means you're going to be the kind of person that is interested in loving for your brother or your sister what you love for yourself, right? So that means that we are all in it for a we, an us, not just an I. Like we Muslims, we are not I people, we are we people. Right, so we, you know, if you got, I mean, anyway, I was going to crack a silly joke with the iPhone Wii phone. Like the Wii phone is better than the iPhone because the Wii phone is about you and I, right? So this is what I'm going to train you on. This is what I'm going to help you to master because it's not good just knowing the information because knowing the information, it just gives you the know-how. Just because you have the know-how doesn't mean you can actually do the how. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to help you bridge the gap between where you are in that power and influence and where you want to get to where you become so effective that you have massive impact on the world massive impact on your family massive impact on everyone around you and most importantly when you are out there like working with people when you are helping your clients when you are growing your businesses you are able to do it through influence and this is like a soft skill but this influence is so powerful it's more powerful than a hard skill right it will actually get you the results that you want you will love the results it will help you as a person to grow your family to grow because you lead by example and your business will grow your career your profession you will become a leader in that this is truly all about taking control but not through like micromanaging coercing like manipulating we don't do any of that stuff you're going to use these tools that I teach you to you're going to apply it in your life and you're going to love it and everyone's going to love you for it and that is the power of the science of enough psychology so anyway we've got two more days folk sign up you're going to miss it you don't want to miss this you want to jump in this is going to change your life this is going to change your whole life life and business go to the muslim life forward slash live and i'll see you inside inshallah jazakum lahir